Hi, this is Hamza. This is a hotel booking management system created with MinStack, MongoDB Express and Node.js at the backend, and Angular at the frontend. These are the source code. If you click one of them, you can go to the GitHub repositories. So I'm going to go through step by step how the application works. So if you come to the listing, you can see all listing are here. And if you try to search by name, like let's say Decor Hotel, you can you are able to uh, list and filter all listings here. Let's say Deluxe, and then you are, you are able to see. And now I'm going to sign up and then after that going to log in. Now I'm going to sign up as test three and first name is test three last name is test three email test three password is test three if i register as we can see it's giving up a pop-up error and saying the email is not valid and now i'm going to change email and then make it valid and if i try to register it's going to show me another uh, pop-up message it's going to show me the password should be at least six character and the password I entered is test three test three and when I register it's basically successfully creating the account and now I'm going to try to sign in and going to enter wrong credentials and as we can see it's giving me another pop-up is not saying credential is not valid and I'm going to add correct password if I sign in it's basically taking me the dashboard and if I go to the here in the dashboard I can see all my booking listing here since we are new registered user there is no any booking here and when I go to the listing as we can see there is a a button opens up and it's allowing us to users to book a, a hotel if we click one of this, it's basically showing the detail of that listing, detail of that hotel. And now I'm going to add starting date and then end date. If I try to book it, it's going to give me successfully created with the booking ID. And it's basically automatically comes to the, my dashboard and it's showing me all detail. Now I'm going to go to another one and then let's see if I can make another one there we go another one is just booked and it just popped up here and now I'm just gonna go to the sign out and then log in as admin and if I try to log in and it's basically taking me to the admin dashboard and what admin can do basically they are he, they are not able to make any booking here and if go to their dashboard they are able to add listing and then they they are able to see all listings here and they are able to see all booking which are as we can see we just created a user and then booked by that user it's going to show all bookings here and in this page we can see all the user registered to our website and this is just newly created user and now I'm going to add a listing let's say that I'm gonna say listing ID list one listing title amazing hotel and description amazing hotel and I'm gonna add my address and I'm going to add price let's say to 30 so now if I like delete one of this oh, and then as we can see since we touch it and then we are required to enter the details if I like enter back and as we can see this add button it's not uh, activated since the fields are empty and if I like enter this email as not valid as we can see there's a pop-up message saying we need to valid the email and when I made the validation and then when I ended as we can see this hotel is successfully created 
and it just comes here and if we go to the listing and then as we can see this hotel just come here and now I'm gonna sign out and then access as test 3 which we just created and test 3 test 3 test 3 and if we can go to our dashboard and if we go to the listing and as we can see the just newly created listing came come here and then if we try to book it and if I book it just booking successfully and then the new book just came here and this is the MongoDB and it's basically showing us all database we just created these are for the bookings and which is just created by that test tree user and as we can see last trees belong to that user and this listing uh, all are listed here and like this is the last one created by the admin and these are the users and this is the last user and this that was all thank you for watching the video let me know if you have any question thank you